Hello and welcome to my video of this Atco cylinder mower restoration. So this mower is relatively old and you can see from these photos that it does need a lot of work. There is a few problems with it that I know of. The engine has a problem, most likely the carburetor. The clutch has a problem, it's always engaged even when it's supposed to be disengaged. And then there are a few problems such as loose bolts and also um, the paintwork as you can see is fairly rusty. So one of the problems which has been noted is that the fuel line leaks and you can see from this photo that the fuel line isn't actually on properly and it's actually gone very rigid. So that is probably the cause of the fuel tank leaking. So what I'm doing is replacing the spark plug. You can see that there is a lot of deposits in there so they're going to come out with some long nose pliers and the current spark plug is obviously in a very bad state as you can see. So you can actually see from this video that it cuts out and it bogs down when cutting. So what, I'm, what I do in this is I strip down the carburetor, completely clean it out and put it back together again. So that is the carburetor going back on. So new fuel's going in because obviously we don't want to have old fuel in, if, especially as, as it hasn't been run for over five years. So now we can retry it. And that's running very well uh, before it used to bog down and cut off when I accelerated the engine. Right, so now that we know that the engine's working, we can now remove all of the panels and get ready to clean these down, sand them down, and then spray them. You can see that the clutch has also been adjusted and it's now removing that clutch plate so that it disengages when it should be. So like I say, all of these panels are going to come off, sanded down, make them all smooth and then it will create a good finish when it is uh, sprayed and uh, this should make the lawnmower look a lot smarter as well. So the engine also has to come off and it's also good to clean underneath here anyway. And this is the sanding process, quite a long winded process but it all pays off in the end because it makes a much better finish if you take off all the rough areas first. So here is a tip for if you don't have any engine degreaser. Just get some high concentrate washing up liquid and some warm to hot water and a paintbrush and you can basically use the same process as if it was engine degreaser and just brush it on and this should remove any oil or grease deposits there are on any of these guards. Because obviously if you try and clean it off with sandpaper um, or even spray directly on with paint um, then if there's oil or grease on there then it's going to make it very difficult to do this and if it's paint it's going to create a very bad finish and it'll probably be rough and also it could make not, might not even let the uh, paint stick properly. So now that all that's done and all the parts have been sanded down I can go ahead and spray them all. Now this is a one coat gloss paint Atco Green and the idea of this is to make it all look shiny and smooth um, especially for all these visible parts. So this is the actual body of the lawnmower itself this is the main chassis um, and assembly of it 
and the idea of this again is just to make it look smart you can see the original paint has faded and there's a lot of rust on there so applying this new layer of paint after all these years um, it's going to add a lot of value to it and it's going to make it look a lot smarter so all the paint's now dry this has been two days uh, of drying and now I can put the engine back on and you can see that you have to um, align the engine with the clutch assembly and put that rubber donut in um, as that is what sends the drive to, through the clutch and to the drive and the cutter. So basically all I'm doing here is lining up everything so that it all fits, lining up the engine with the mounting bolt holes and also with the clutch. And all the other parts have also dried off now and I'm just bolting them on with some new bolts. And you can see overall already it's looking a lot smarter. And now we're moving on to putting the handles and fuel tank on. This is a tricky part especially if you're on your own because you've got to keep the fuel tank level as well as putting the handles on and the clamps because it's all one assembly and they go together. So these just bolt on here, I just do these half tight for a start because that way I can still put the handles up um, and I can also make the fuel tank level as well. And finally, the rubber handles, which I had to take off before I sprayed it, um, are now going back on again. Obviously, I took these off so that I didn't get any paint on them, because there's nothing worse than when you put all the effort into spraying something, and then you accidentally put paint on something you shouldn't have done. So I just took them off, and they actually weren't too hard to get back on again. And now for the final touches of an air filter, which this engine hasn't seen for a very long time. Um, this is a new air filter and it costs around £6 and it should do the engine a lot of good and obviously now fresh fuel is going in for this engine to have a final run before it leaves me. And here it is, this is it finished and this is as far as my restoration goes with it. You can see that all the paintwork is now looking really good, really shiny and everything which hasn't been sprayed has been cleaned. You can see the front roll is nice and clean and obviously the red for the blades. Um, I didn't respray those but I did clean those with the high concentrate washing up liquid. Um, and you can see but overall it looks very smart, hopefully you like it as well. And now we can put it into action and cut some grass with it. Now this is the first time I've actually cut a lawn with it, before I was just cutting some rough areas just to test it. So let's see how it goes. As you can see it's working really well and that is unfortunately the end of this restoration video but if you want to see more like this in the near future then please just hit that subscribe button and also if you've enjoyed this one then please remember to rate and comment. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.